Okay, this is part two because we had some battery issues. Yeah, uh, thumbs just in front of the lens. Right. Um, where was it? So check the tension there. We're going to adjust them with the lock nut. Okay. Take the lock nuts off, take the lock wire off, and adjust the turn buckles. The turn buckles, you remember two things about the turn buckles. We've got reverse thread on them. Okay. Uh, and remember, if someone's got the reading off the tensiometer and you're adjusting the turn buttons, remember communication between the two of you. It's no good saying up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, down a bit. You need to say, well, on 32, we need to go to 35. It gives them something to work with. Once we've adjusted it, we can then remember that one thing that you do to one side of the aircraft, because it's all one system, is going to affect the other side of the aircraft. Once that's been done, then what we can do is uh, we can put the lock nuts back on, right? Or, or take the lock nuts back up. Remember, reverse thread again. We'd have to fit the lock wire on, on an aircraft uh, that's been used, um, and then we can panel the aircraft back up. Once we panel the aircraft back up, don't forget to remove the rigging pins. That's why they've got flags on them. Panel the aircraft back up, uh, unlock the flying controls, and then all that's left to do is carry out your tool check. Once the tool check's carried out. Complete your paperwork, okay? Once you've done your paperwork, it's uh, off back to the crew, watch Jeremy Kyle for the rest of the day, okay? Spot on, see ya.